Debo Samuel is 2021 Debo Samuel again. That yeah. should terrify the rest yep. of the NFL because we've been talking. Look, Ayuk's playing great. Kittle's back. McCaffrey's McCaffrey. We have a quarterback, but Debo hasn't been the same dude. He had a down year last year, even by his own admission. And early this season, he he battled injuries. He was beat up, mm-hmm. and then he got hurt. He only had one touchdown going into Week Nine. A lot of that was because it was because of injuries. Just one 100 yard game. But since coming back from the bye, he's got, oh God, how many touchdowns does he have? Four, seven, seven touchdowns. Yeah. And he's got, he leads the NFL in receiving since week 11. And in the last two weeks, he has been out of his mind, absolutely out of his mind against Philadelphia. Four catches, a buck 16, two touchdowns, three carries, 22 yards, and another score. Against Seattle, seven catches, 149 yards and a touchdown, and then he had another one-yard touchdown. So five touchdowns in the last two games. He looks like he shot out of a cannon. I loved the way he made um, his name Adam. What's the safety's name? Jamal like Adams. Think about Jamal Adams. There it is. Just looked like he was in, <laughs> his feet were in concrete. Yeah. Just flew right by him. It was just I mean, made him look terrible. Debo's on another level right now, and if he's on that level with the rest of the guys, I, I just I don't see how you could stop this team. Well, and what I loved about specifically that touchdown, right? And again, this comes a little bit back to the Brock Purdy conversation. Debo Samuel in his post-game press conference, and and you if you watch that play, you can see that he gets to Adam's level and he's not he he starts to throttle down because on that play, he's the last read. He's the last read on that play. There's I believe four routes. He's the last read. And so They've run that play many times before. Debo has never gotten the ball. And you can see him start to slow down. All of a sudden, he hits that second gear because he sees that the ball is coming. And that's because Brock Purdy went through his progressions 